Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about shocking things about the Reykjavik cruise port. Ooh. Yeah, some shocking <laughs> things there. Uh, the first one I think that would be shocking to me was how crowded each of the major mm. attractions mm -hmm. will be. Yeah, you know, it's funny because I thought it was going to be kind of like no one would be there. Mm -hmm. I was so surprised when we got to some of these places and they were like, so crowded and having to jockey for a spot it was really quite bizarre yeah. not only do you have the cruise passengers but you have tours mm -hmm. people on vacations mm -hmm. and really if you're on a cruise you're going to be hitting just the main points of southern iceland mm -hmm. and there's really only five or six main places that everybody goes yeah so because everybody goes there they're going to be quite crowded so just expect that and uh, it's fine though, they're big enough that you'll oh, get yeah. a spot and you'll see it and you'll mm -hmm. really enjoy it. But there, you won't be like walking in this. You won't be the only person there. Yeah, <laughs> the only place that we went to that was really uncrowded was the hike above Skagfoss. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you get all the way out to Glacier Lagoon and Diamond Beach, um, that's not that crowded because mm -hmm. it's so far away, mm -hmm. hard for people. Yeah, the further out um, you go, the less people you'll see. Yeah. Yeah, to get out there. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, second shocking thing about Iceland is how expensive it is. Uh, so, I mean, we kind of knew going in it was expensive, but it was like so expensive. Yeah, it was like. <laughs> and I mean, I get it because, you know, they're out there on this island and they have to have everything brought in, but it was. It's expensive. Mind boggling yeah. how expensive. So we would I stop. Mean... Uh, we would stop for lunch. <laughs> yeah. Even just stopping for lunch at a gas station. At a gas station. And getting two hot dogs, two bags of chips, and two cokes. Uh huh. That'd run you easily thirty U.S. dollars. For a hot dog, chips, uh, and a drink. Mm -hmm. If you were gonna go station. to a pizzeria or to a burger place, you're talking uh -huh. forty or fifty dollars to yeah. get out of there. Um, so. Yeah. And I mean, you go to a sit-down restaurant, no, we didn't even think about it. It was easily over $100. Uh, we DIY'd our food there. Yeah, so we did stop in at some grocery stores because we did have a car mm -hmm. and we were driving around. But we did stop at a gas station to get uh, mm -hmm. dinner. A couple times we did. And even that was, uh, yeah. that was more expensive than we thought. So it is shockingly expensive. It is very. Um, but the food is really good and you'll want to try it. Yeah. Um, and speaking of expense... Of expensive uh, renting a car there yeah it's a shocking process and uh, you really just need to get the insurance if you're gonna rent in Iceland mm -hmm. because we we rented our car and we drove and we did get the full insurance because we had heard about that from somebody um, when we returned our car there is so much wind and like volcanic ash on the ground that it will it will blow up against your car and cause damage to the paint and mm -hmm. if you're not insured for that which normal insurance doesn't you have to have the full package that you're going to get charged for that yeah and um we returned our car and we actually shockingly didn't have any damage we didn't which was surprising which was because surprising. we had the insurance if yeah. we didn't have the insurance we'd have had damage likely uh, <laughs> the three people that came in to return their car while we were waiting getting mm -hmm. ours checked out all had damage to yep. their car and they didn't have the insurance yeah not just small damage they weren't even just being nitpicky either out no, the, at the it's not that they're making it up it's actual damage i mean one of them had a cracked windshield um from you know a rock that hit it so it's not it's not the car uh rental place there's actual damage because the weather is so wild there yeah so um if you're going to rent a car just make sure that you do get the uh insurance Otherwise, you'll be faced with a, another shocking thing, which is the bill. <laughs> the very large bill very for large fixing bill the pain. car. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, and then, as we mentioned with the weather, that is the next thing, is just uh, the weather changes dramatically very quickly, like on a dime. Yeah. You could have the sun shining, and you're like, oh, my gosh, this is a great day to go out and hike. And then you get halfway through your hike and you're like, why is it dark all of a sudden? Yeah. And it can start raining on you out of nowhere. Cold, um, cold hard rain. rain. Wind. Um, so just be prepared. Have layers. Have mm -hmm. a waterproof backpack to mm -hmm. put your stuff in. Yes. And you'll be fine. Yep. Um, and 
it's just, you know, it, it's cold. If you make it out to Glacier uh, Lagoon and Diamond Beach, just understand the water is cold. I did actually get in the water. <laughs> while Not on purpose, though. Yeah, I was trying to take some pictures of the, uh, of the ice on Diamond Beach, and I, <laughs> it wasn't in the right spot. So I just picked the ice up and moved it closer, and the wave got me. Um, and then she tried to step on the glacier uh, that was on the, on the ice washed that was up. washed up. Yeah. But she did that without getting wet, though. I so. was able to stay dry. Yeah, she had boots on, too. So, <laughs> um, And it is cold water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so these are some of the shocking things you'll find in Iceland at the uh, cruise port. Hope this has been helpful to you for your trip. Please enjoy it. And if the video was helpful, subscribe to the channel. And we will see you on the next video.